You got to understand something about God. God don't look at your qualifications when he picks you. He looks at your heart. None of us meet the qualifications. Think about it, ladies. He picks you simply because he loves you and your obedience to him. When he picked, let me tell you, God got a dysfunctional family to get three million people out of Egypt. <laughs> Moses, Aaron, and Miriam was a bunch of dysfunctional people. I was some weird people. I mean, they had more problems you could shake a stick at. My God, man. Moses couldn't even talk. He stuttered. I mean, how do you get three million people out to follow you? Follow me. I mean, it gets to the Red Sea. Behold! And there's his dumb brother who's nothing but a stinking wimp. I don't know what to do, Moses. Anybody just tell me what to do? That's exactly what I do. Then their crazy sister's a charismatic tambourine player. Come on, let's just play. That's what brought out the whole nation. Three dysfunctional people. I mean, Aaron is the biggest wimp you ever seen in your life. He got, I mean, people could make him do anything. I mean, he didn't have a lick of brains and a lick of sense and a lick of bravery. And they say, you, you make us a golden calf. Okay, that's what they call me. I just make a golden cow. He stopped molding that thing. <laughs> my God, my Lord Moses, come down the mountain. Now you gotta understand, they, they, they broke one commandment, but Moses broke 10. I told you what, let's throw the whole 10 down. That's dysfunctional. You don't break the whole 10 because somebody broke one. And he looked at that calf and he goes, ooh, 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 ooh. Where did that cow come from? And that dumb brother, here's Aaron, said, I don't know, Moses, I just throw gold in the fire and out come a cow. Now that's Aaron. That ain't good, see? That's dysfunctional and his crazy sister. And she's mad because she thinks God ought to be talking to her more than talking to that stammering lip brother of hers. But our, our, our brother, he made a mistake with Miriam. He married a black woman. You don't marry a black woman when you got a Jewish sister. <laughs> he married this black woman. He saw this mama and said, hey, get down with your back. Get the book down with your back. Yo, ba 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 Black women got an attitude. You look at them, they, they what'd you say? <laughs> if they, and if their hair stick out the way, just get a glump of grease, slap that baby, pull it down. You say? And you know that woman had an attitude? She walking around that camp, I done married the man. I got the man. The man belonged to me. Come on, man, my man. My man. To me, I'm the man. He's my man. And Miriam said, I tell you one thing. Because black women, white women don't act like that. I mean, the husband jump all over a white woman. Oh, what, 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 I'm sorry. But this is white women. What, 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 what should you do? That black woman said, follow me, child. I tell you what to do. Just come on, I'll just tell you what to do right now. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. I like them. They got power. Oh, Moses, he said, you like my woman? You don't make some people mad. Miriam was so mean, I bet she shaved her, she shaved her legs with a weed eater. I don't doubt that. That's a mean woman. <laughs> you didn't think I was gonna get funny, did you, huh? That's a dysfunctional family. That's the seed God used to get the nation out. A stutterer, a wimp, and a crazy white woman. 
She's mad because he married a black woman. She got struck with leprosy, and that's the whitest she ever been in her life. <laughs> that woman got white, boy. Moses prayed for her. Could you hear Moses? Lord, touch this. My mirror, 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 mirror. My 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 mirror, mirror, mirror. mirror, mirror. <laughs> <laughs> Help a Lord. Nazareth, I, I don't. You, you, you spoke against me. I, I know Moses, but I, it was my fault. You know, Miriam, you know, Jesus told me to do it. And I just do whatever anybody tells me to do. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's the three dysfunctional people. Think about it, ladies and gentlemen. Pulled a whole nation out of Egypt. <laughs> That's why Moses didn't read the Ten Commandments. You know how long it took? <laughs> read them for yourself. Don't take him all day to try to get through Ten Commandments. You ever find a message where he preached? But you find where he sings. Stutterers can sing. Boy, I couldn't preach. I... But he could sing. Oh, Lord. People that stutter can sing because it's a melody that flows. Yeah. And you know, they all died in the same year. They all died about three and a half months apart. Never made it to the promised land. But God never separated Moses from that black woman. So I guess he believes in interracial marriage. Don't shout me down when I preach again. He don't care. If you don't care, he don't care. Don't make him no different. As long as you love each other, you're born again. What's wrong with that?